Hello everyone, just a quick little video here. The DJI GO 4 app has just been updated and we finally got waypoints for Mavic 2 Pro and Zoom. Waypoint mode allows us to select multiple waypoints even before takeoff, save them to our phone and then execute them on location. A really welcome addition by DJI. Once you open the waypoint mode for the first time and watch the official little intro tutorial, you're ready to start planning. To start off from the left of the screen, when tapping on this question mark, you can always enter the intro tutorial again. Then moving forward, we have the button to add new waypoints, a button to add a point of interest, and save and delete buttons. Next to that, you have these three dots to expand the menu. Once you tap on that, you'll have the option to enter the task library where all your flights are saved, and next to that, you'll have your general route settings. In the route settings, you can change your route type from polyline to arc, and you can select various different actions for your flight. When the task is finished, you can choose to return home, hover the drone, return to the first waypoint, or land there at the last point. When there's no remote controller signal, you can choose between continuing the waypoint operation, returning to home, hovering the drone, and landing. In the Waypoint Direction submenu, you can select the direction of your drone while flying between points, which we'll get into a bit. And finally, you have your overall cruising speed. This will be more clear later, but essentially you can select a certain speed, which you can then later assign to your flight path. The lowest speed is 7.2 km per hour and the top speed is 28.8 km per hour. Next up, we can select the warning spaces on our map. This is also available when we're flying in normal mode, but I just wanted to point it out and bring your attention that you should always fly safely and among other things enable these warnings. And the next thing before we get into creating our waypoint is the map style. Again, you can do this in normal mode, but I wanted to point it out in case some of you don't know. Once you tap on the create waypoint button, we can just tap anywhere on the map and place our waypoints. By tapping on either of the waypoints, many customizable options open up. First off, in the top menu, you can tap on the plus icon to create a new waypoint before the one that is currently selected. And then by tapping on the trash can, you can delete the waypoint. The next thing are these arrows next to waypoint names. You can quickly toggle between your waypoints using these. Then we can customize the bottom row of the various settings. First up is the altitude of the waypoint and we can adjust it by simply swiping on the screen. Next is the speed between the selected waypoint and the next waypoint. By default the cruising speed will be selected and that is that speed we selected in the route settings menu. Again, by swiping on the screen you can select some other value. Then we can choose the flying direction which is also one of the settings from the route settings. We can select to follow the route and tell the drone to be oriented towards the next waypoint. Or we can select the custom direction and again by swiping on the screen we can orient the drone however we want. Next up is the gimbal pitch which goes down to negative 90 degrees but unfortunately doesn't go up to plus 30. Then we can select the camera operation the drone will do at each waypoint. We can select between starting and stopping the recording and taking a picture. And lastly we can select the point of interest for each waypoint but we first have to create one. As I said before, these settings can be adjusted for each waypoint independently. By tapping on the point of interest button, we can create a new point of interest. We can select the altitude of the point of interest the same way like we did with the waypoints. And lastly, we can link our point of interest to our waypoints. Each waypoint that gets linked to our point of interest will be added to that point of interest submenu for each waypoint and the flying direction and gimbal pitch will be changed to orient towards that point of interest. And there it is, my quick rundown of the new waypoint mode. We waited a long time for it and DJI delivered amazing new features. Thanks for watching and goodbye.